Hello, hello, welcome everyone. Today is the update for the Halloween stuffs. So you will see a message trying to pressure you into going into the store and spending money. Um, <laughs> or just really quick show you what's there. Um, but there's various commanders and crates and a lot of other fun stuff, right? Um, so these geises, um, I do believe you you can earn these without spending real money, right? So, uh, but they are geises, they're not commanders. Um, so it's really just visuals, which of course we all know and love and it's nice and fun, right? So when you go into play, you'll see the um, Halloween event. And this is always kind of fun. I like these just because they're different, right? You'll be forced to play on easy mode. You can see easy up in the top left. <clears throat> and you'll have to assign a commander, and it's pretty obvious which ones work for destroyers and and cruisers and battleships and whatnot, right? So, um, right. And then you do have to up update, upgrade these guys, rank them up. But it, it, it I mean, if, if it's similar to last year, it'll go pretty quick. You'll be able to get these soul spheres get quite a few during each battle right so um and then you do get an upgrade so don't forget to go and buy your little upgrade whatever it is for your ship before you start playing <laughs> and then um yeah consumables are pretty unique too um you know and you know you're gonna play on easy and you're not gonna have all the commander upgrades right but easy is quite easy i have to say so we will do a game quick um and by quick, I mean it's you're kind of forced into the almost full 15 minutes for these games. It's not like one can end pretty quickly, at least from previous experience. Because what they do is they send waves of enemies, right? So, um, and then once your team clears out one, then another one comes, and you know, so on, right? And then you'll have a boss guy at the end, which is Rasputin, and he's usually a little bit tougher. Um, so we'll play as the destroyer, as you saw, we picked the destroyer. Um, if it's similar to last year, you know, you get with the destroyer, you get um, like an engine boost and um, depending on the situation, I think with this mode, um, the, the update here and, and this this first first event or whatever you want to call it, um, the engine boost does give you some heal um, as well as boost your speed, right? And then the other consumables, the middle one is kind of a like uh, anti like target lock or dispersion boost or something like that. So. Um, using that will prevent enemies from shooting at you and or hitting you, you know, some something like that, right? And the other one is a, they call it a steam screen or something like that, but um, it's basically a rolling smoke screen, so similar to what the, um, similar to the smoke screens that the Italians have, right? Where you can use it and be moving full speed and it'll um, greatly increase your concealment, right? So, um, and then battleships have like a, um, a heal, that if you're close to them it will also heal you so it heals themselves and anybody that's near them it's kind of their, their bigger perk and unique thing and then i think the cruisers um if it's similar to last year cruisers have um so every every ship has some way to heal themselves right and then if you work together as a team it works even better right but <laughs> um cruisers have um sort of like a reload booster that you know makes their guns reload super super fast and then as you get hits while that's on while that's going, you would um, get healed. So that's how it worked last year. I didn't look and see um, what that particular one was this year. But so there's only we got three battleships and one cruiser. And if it's similar to last year, it is nice to have more battleships. So that's great. <clears throat> um, but it is also super beneficial to have at least a mix. So this is almost perfect having a, a cruiser, a destroyer, and then the rest battleships, right? <laughs> and then so there are three like portals kind of towards out towards the outside of the map so your objective is to defend the base which is your um i don't know your, your friendly ship i forget what it's called it says treats on the side right <laughs> oh transylvania like it's literally like up in the top right corner it says protect transylvania right? so um if you gotta if you can keep the ships the enemy ships from getting into like the base zone area right um that's beneficial because it i think it gives you more um, you can get more like rewards towards the end of the map, but or towards the end of the match. But also, it prevents the like final wave of enemies from just rushing you. So if enemies get into that base area, um, it'll like it'll you'll get a bunch of enemies sent at the same time. So it's kind of going to be crushing because if your team's doing so bad that that happens, then <laughs> then it's just, the situation's just going to get worse, right? So. 
Um, but this is this is pretty easy common sense type stuff. So there's there's three. You can see there's like two on. If you look on the mini map, there's there's three sets of like two little islands next to each other, and those are the the portals where enemies are coming from. So you know where enemies are going to be spawning each wave. Um, you just want to keep an eye on each portal. On easy mode, it seems like they're really just coming from one at a time. I'm sure on the later modes, as you unlock the more difficult modes, um, that will change, I'm sure. Um, but this was just a crazy easy match um, on easy mode, right? So, um, and you know, that's to say, like, hopefully everyone kind of knew what they were doing, and maybe that helped, but even if they don't, I can't imagine just a couple of competent people in your matchmaking. Um, you should be able to beat these easy mode matches um, quite easily. We'll have to see. I'll, I'll be interested in seeing how they've mixed it up this year for the more difficult levels, right? Um, so if, uh, if we have some interesting games, um, I'll try and record those and, and post them out. But I wanted to get this one out here just because this is, this is you know, sort of refresh update day, whatever you want to call it, um, as far as with this Halloween event. So you can see the... Um, plus uh, the like, health symbol plus thing above our friendly battleship here, so that means he is using his healing effect. And I think we, yeah, we are in it. Um, so it is pretty large. And then as you progress through and do damage, um, your kind of your main consumable gets like upgraded. Uh, so, uh, you know, for the destroyer, it'd be, I think you would move faster and heal faster, right? Um, and then for the battleships, it's, um, you know, something similar where, like, the heal works better or the radius is bigger or and or both, right? So it's a similar kind of situation with the cruisers, right? So we are just taking shots at sort of one each um, for torpedoes at each of the um, ships that are kind of closest to us. And I imagine that'll be a similar strategy in the, um, the harder difficulty levels, right? But... You can see the fancy looking portals off the, out in the distance, right? So that's where the enemies are spawning. They're easy to see on the maps. It's kind of obvious, right? So we'll take the shots at these, and you know, this is nice because torpedoes launch or reload quite quickly here, right? But yeah, that's part of why I like this game mode is that you really feel um, like you're doing a lot, even if you aren't. <laughs> So even even if you're like you kind of suck, you know, you can you get a lot of you get a lot of chances, right? And you get to do a lot of damage. So it's a, yeah, it's nice and fun, right? It's nice to have something that's just like fun and um, you know you don't get you don't necessarily. Well, I'm supposed you could still get hate mail from somebody on your team complaining that you didn't do a good enough job. But I was gonna say you're not gonna get you're not gonna get hate mail from, like you would from standard maps, but. Probably still could. <laughs> At least, maybe not on easy mode, right? Because everyone's just always winning on easy mode. <laughs> maybe you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, like 23 second reload for torps. Wouldn't it be nice? And then, yeah, so. <laughs> I, here I was just kind of experimenting with the consumables because they aren't exactly like they were last year. They're a little bit different. So we had used the, um, Smoke generator started. you know, the, I don't even know what it's called, like the anti-lock-on, you know, one, the, um, the, the fire dispersion, the middle one, right? Um, and then now we're using the steam, steam screen, and as you can see, it's kind of rolling with us. So even though we're moving full speed, um, we are still undetected and we're still firing our guns, so that will be nice um, when the uh, difficulty kind of gets up there, right? Smoke screen set. <laughs> no enemies at all. Easy mode is turning out to be quite easy. So I'm peeking around this island here, trying to just get a spot on this other portal, because um, I'm assuming that, nope, nope, we're getting Rasputin. We'll dump torps towards him. He's got a massive health bar. Um, and then, so yeah, battleships too have, um, you know, I'll have to look and see, we'll have to, I'll have to actually play as one. Um, 
and get back to you, right? But uh, they also have a like a shield too that like temporarily makes them completely invincible, which makes it awesome to just go and ram <laughs> Rasputin and just time it so that you use that sort of in invincibility shield right as you hit him, and then you get, get rid of all his health, right? Hopefully that's still a thing, because that's, that's a fun way to finish off uh, a boss enemy, right? <laughs> so we'll just keep taking shots at these guys. There's really, like, this is just like almost too easy, right? There's just no threat. <laughs> to, um, I'm sure Rasputin, yeah, Rasputin's probably taking hits from all of our guys here. Oh, and he just split up. We lost our cruiser. All right, only one more guy can die, guys. <laughs> So the first, um, so what you want to do is try and get all these stars, uh, meet all these objectives up in the top right, right? So um, keep at least three player ships alive until reinforcements are up. So basically until the end of the game, right? Um, so that's the um, probably one of the more difficult ones than destroying Rasputin, right? But I mean, if you obviously if Transylvania, if your friendly ship dies, then you um, you lose, and I don't think you get anything. Uh, but I can't can't imagine. I mean, I'm not gonna say. You know, anything's, I'll say anything's possible, but I can't imagine with just even halfway decent players that um, you don't succeed on the easy mode here. And then I, what you'll want to do is, is try those more difficult modes, because that will grant you more of the um, materials you need for upgrading the commanders. And they'll just kind of help you progress those. And then... Um, Obviously, if you're trying to get, you know, unlock the commander geises or something without paying uh, real money, right? Um, you'll want to, you'll probably end up wanting to play those more difficult tiers as well. So as you can see, our consumable gets upgraded to level four. So you can see above our engine boost, there's a, you know, Roman numeral four. Um, so that is probably either making us heal or and or move faster, right? Um, but we don't really need it. We're just using it. Um, yeah, so if you were to uh, take damage, um, or be, you know, be be and kind of in a you need an adult situation, <laughs> um, go to you know head towards a battleship because they'll have their heal. Like as you can see, we're within. Um, I don't know. You can see this blue line. So this must be the heal um, from that battleship in front of us, right? So now we're getting within that. And then uh, also use your your own engine boost, um, which will heal you. So you can kind of double double duty there. And then we're using the middle consumable now to try and make sure Rasputin doesn't fire at us. Looks like secondaries are still heading this way. Engine boost activated. They're not hitting us, but they're still heading this way. <laughs> and it looks like we should get some torpedo hits on him. Hopefully our battleship can finish him if those don't do at all. But yeah, you can see like he has a ton of health. Like we hit him with three, and he still got a good chunk left. And we're at two hundred thousand damage too, so that's kind of fun uh, being able to do just loads and loads of damage. Yeah, and then our so our friendly battleship rammed Rasputin to finish him off. Good job. Um, so that's what I was saying. It looked like he probably used his. There's a shield consumable, um, so that is a smart move to uh, ram Rasputin. Um, and just make sure, you know, if you're a battleship, you're going to move slow and Rasputin's going to move slow. So make sure you time that right. If you hit it too early, it's going to run out and then you're going to be committed to ramming Rasputin and probably take yourself out. Um, just because he's got so much more health, right? All right, this Kraken looks like he's probably the last guy, right? Hopefully. So imagine once we finish this guy off, we will be done for the match. And we'll go in and see, you know, just how much, um, how much of the, like, currency you get from battle, at least from an easy battle, right? So, this is on easy difficulty, we'll see how many soul things or whatever it was. Um, so see how, how much further we can upgrade our commander, um, just after one, one battle on easy, right? So, um, somebody finish him, we should probably have switched to AP sooner. He's probably going to die from somebody's bullets before ours are reloaded. Oh, they've got torps. Got to look out for those. There we go. So we get all of our stars. Victory. All enemies have been destroyed. Good times, right? <clears throat> I think I've probably got to do a couple of standard matches just to keep the... Um, 
some of the other stuff that's going on uh, progressing, right? But I'll probably play a bunch of this. Um, so if I have some good games, keep an eye out and I'll um, post those. But as you can see, we completed all five tasks. So this will probably unlock um, the more difficult tiers, right? Um, and then we're getting, yeah, you can see the, 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 the purple, you know, medallion thingies off to the right or you know we're getting 10 20 30 for each of those tasks so we should have a pretty decent chunk um looks like 15 stars so maybe that's what we need to unlock the next difficulty made a little bit of credits all right oh yeah we got 50 for destroying rasputin all right so we'll see how much we can upgrade so we have 100 150 so oh it takes quite a few so we'll be able to get them up to seven so that'll unlock um, all the uh, other uh, perks at least so we can go through and pick these out for at least for this commander, right? I'm usually not a big fan of perks that have a negative aspect to them. <laughs> and rudder shift 40 engine power while smokescreen is working 40% that might be valuable later on But I'm gonna pick this uh, sort of the safe one for the time being but some of those might be worth it. So There's a reason they exist, right? Legendary Might. Doesn't even tell me what that does, but I want it, you know? We, we <laughs> you need that, right? You need that. Uh, this description of this commander. Let's see, how much do you need? What do you need, like, what was it, 5 million for that legendary perk? It seemed like a lot. Let's go. I'm, I was clicked on it for like a second. Yeah, 5 million soul spheres that you need. <laughs> All right. So we will play this and see how it goes, and if I, you know, like I said, if we get up into the higher tiers, um, I'll put out some new videos. But make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. We got more World of Warships videos on the way.